MS Word 2010. Microsoft Word is a word processing program that provides formatting, editing, input and output of text with various other features. The first version of MS Word was released in 1983. MS Word 2010 is an upgraded version. Word contains many features such as themes, smart art and style, etc. for making impressive and professional looking documents. It saves your file with the extension name of .docx that is, if your document name is XYZ, then it saves as XYZ.docx. Creating a new blank document. Follow the steps to create a new blank document in MS Word. First, click the File tab. Next, select New option. Select Blank Document under the Available Template section. Click Create. A new blank document appears in the Word window. Typing text on your document. After creating a new blank document, you will find an insertion point with cursor blinking. You can type your content on the workspace area. Saving the file. Once you have typed the content, you need to save your work. To save your document using Save command, click the File tab. Select Save option from the menu. The Save as dialog box appears. Now, using the drop-down menu, select the location where you want to save the document. Next, enter a name for the document. Now click the Save button. Your document gets saved with the assigned name. Closing a document. Once you are done with MS Word, you can close the application. For this, click the File tab. A drop-down list appears. Now click Close. Or click the Close button on Program window and your document closes. If you have made any changes in your document, a dialog box appears asking you to save the changes. Click Save if your changes were done or ignore the message by clicking on Don't Save. Remember that the Close button closes only the document, which means you can no longer edit your document, but the program still keeps running. Printing a document if you wish to take a hard copy of your document, click the File tab. Now click on Print option. Select the pages you want to print. You have the option of All Pages, Current Page or a range of pages. You can also select the number of copies. Next, select a printer from the drop-down list which contains any printers connected to the system. Your document will be printed on a paper. Exiting Word To exit from MS Word, click on the File tab. Choose the Exit command from the menu or the shortcut key Alt plus F4 can be used. Exiting a program means it will close your file as well as the application you are working on. Selecting and editing text. Selecting and editing is used to make changes in the text content in a Word document to make the document attractive. Selecting is the process of highlighting text so that it may be used to copy, cut or move that text to alternate location. Editing is the ability to change text by adding, deleting and rearranging letters, words, sentences and paragraphs. Selecting text through keyboard. Follow the steps to select the typed text. Move the cursor to the starting of the text. Press and hold the shift key and press right arrow key and move. 
the text will be selected with each press of right cursor key and simultaneously the cursor will move to the end of the text. Your text will be selected. Selecting text through mouse. Mouse can also be used to select text of your document. When a mouse pointer is moved over the text area, it will change from an arrow to text select pointer. For selecting a single word, just point the insertion point anywhere and double click. For selecting an entire paragraph, point the insertion point anywhere in the paragraph and triple click. To select a single sentence, hold down the control key and click anywhere in the sentence. To select text otherwise, click and hold down the left mouse button and drag your mouse to select the text you want and then release the mouse button once selection is completed. Editing text Editing text means making necessary changes in the text like changing words or sentences etc. For editing the text, first select the word to be changed. For example, select word Sarthak. Change it to the desired word. For example, Abhinav. Cut, copy, paste. Suppose in a document, some text keeps repeating. One option is to type the text again and again or the other option could be copy the text and paste it. When one or more words are repeated again and again, you can copy the text once and paste it again and again as per requirement. To copy and paste the text, first select the text that has to be copied. Select on copy icon in the clipboard group on home tab. Now click the mouse on the destination place where you want to copy the text. Next click on paste icon. Sometimes we want to shift our text from one place to another. For this, we can use cut option of clipboard group. You can copy or cut some text once and paste it again and again where required. To cut and paste the text, first select the text. Then click on cut option in the clipboard group. The text will disappear. Next, click on the destination place. Now click on paste icon. The text will appear at the new location. Undo and redo command. Undo and redo is one of the powerful features of MS Word. We can use undo to reverse our last action. Redo is used to reverse the undo. Let's take an example. Suppose while preparing a speech, you find that a particular paragraph is not needed and you delete it. Now, if you have suddenly realized that you made a mistake, now just press undo button from the quick access toolbar. You will get back the paragraph. But later on, if you again feel that you don't want the paragraph, you can select Redo button from the Quick Access Toolbar. Again, it will be deleted. Spelling and Grammar Before handing over the final document, you should review it for errors as well as check for scope of improvement. MS Word has many options to assist you in this process. We will look at some of these options here. Correcting Spelling Checking for grammar and spellings is the most basic aim of reviewing a document. To do so, open Review tab. Then click on Spelling and Grammar option in the Proofing group to open the Spelling and Grammar dialog box. Errors in the text appear in the Error text box and suggestions for the same will appear in the Suggestion text box. Accept the first change suggested by clicking on Change button. 
The next suggested change will be shown automatically. Click on Ignore Once button to reject the suggested change. When the whole document has been checked, a message showing the spelling and grammar check is complete will be displayed. Thesaurus Thesaurus is a dictionary of synonyms provided by Word. It suggests other words with similar meaning to the word you have selected. You can open the thesaurus by clicking the thesaurus option in the proofing group of review tab. Let's take an example. Suppose you feel the word blazing is a bit difficult and you want to replace it with its synonym. To do this, select the word that you want to replace with its synonym. Click on thesaurus option. It opens a vertical pane with a list of synonyms on the right side of the writing area. Right click on any synonym from the right pane and select insert option from menu. The selected word blazing will be replaced by its synonym that is shining.